Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's Optimus P517. Want to do another shoe review for you guys. As you know, today is Saturday, June 4th, 2011. Um, True Blues came out. So, got them online. Uh, made a slight mistake, so, so kind of a public announcement as well. Usually, you guys know that I wear a size 10 and a half. I mean, 11. So, Everybody, I don't think anybody's really mentioned in the video, but you got to go half a size down. So I actually got a chance to um, try these on at the House of Hoop, and uh, these fit perfectly fine. They fit just like the cements that came out earlier this year. So if you got something bigger, you're going to have to either double sock or throw in a wearable shoe tree just to squeeze it in a little bit, a little bit tighter. But I think for the mold for the rest of the year, it's going to be a half a size down. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going to do for the next release. Um, on with the kicks, nothing to go over the box. Um, I've read and I've actually seen from people that these doesn't come with that the uh, hang tag. It only comes with the the card right here. So that's pretty much it. But a very nice clean pair of shoe. I'm actually amazed. I like these better than the cement that came out earlier this year um, just the quality I don't know I think the quality is a little nicer for some reason uh, the the leather's not as shiny as you can probably kind of tell compared to the originals that came out not the originals the ones that came out earlier this year um, like I said half a size down if you still if they still got them at the shop which I highly doubt because they're sold out everywhere um, Nike.com sold out, East Bay is definitely sold out. I got two pairs of 11s that are coming in, so if anybody wants to pick them up, let me know. I'm just going to ask 180 ship for them, so I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm not going to you know, make a big one on you guys, but just a, a small compensation. But anyways, um, on with the shoe. What I noticed, and partially the reason why I actually uh, didn't mind picking these up, the cement prints, everybody says they're either thicker, they're thinner. You know what? If you really look at the picture where Jordan was on the floor when he was in the was it Wizards, um, he was doing the shoelace and tying, the prints on those shoes were pretty thick itself already. So um, didn't really bother me. And I actually like the prints on these compared to the 2009s. I had a pair of 2009s, got rid of those because I didn't like the quality on them. But um, cushioning, you can see, pretty decent cushioning on there. Um, the material is pretty nice. It's pretty soft. And um, elephant print or cement print, whatever you guys want to call them now. But they're pretty nice. They're not heavily caked on, but kind of the back right here, you know, every pair is going to be a little bit different. And... That's pretty much it. So pretty simple, pretty nice. Um, shoe itself. One thing that stuck with the 09 was a they didn't paint this whole entire midsole to blue, so they left this part as white. So that's one difference there um, compared to the 01s. And then of course the Jorn is not filled in, so it's just the the border and then the Jorn lettering. So usually right there it was filled in from before. Still got the same bottom. You got the gray, the white accent, and the red in the middle. Uh, midsole. I, I, what I really love, really, 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 really love about this pair is a. They. It seems like they got it on point. Um, the leather's not shiny. Midsole's not shiny. Um, paint chipping. I really don't know. I can't really say until I start wearing them. Even if it does, you could just. You know, un unfortunately, if it does. You have to just strip paint and repaint them. Do it professionally yourself. Um, the toe box is, it feels great. I mean, there's kind of pre-creasing from production already, but whatever. They're going to crease anyways from wearing. Um, the tongues are nice. Decent cushion. Um, inside is okay on the cushioning as well. I don't know if it's hard to see. Yeah, the lighting. The heel tab, it's fine. Meets up right at the line right there. Perforation. I don't have... Um, the 09s to do a comparison and, and honestly if you've never owned a pair it doesn't really matter because um, these are just nice so soft leather on here tumbled leather right in the middle 
and then on the bottom just a smooth leather as well um, the cement print as you know and then right on the eyelets as well and insoles is Jumpman logo um, sizing still on there but that's pretty much it so nice pair of kicks if you guys caught them cop them great they're definitely sold out uh, rare sizes you might have a, a couple of bigger or smaller sizes that might still be hanging around at the mall but definitely pick them up if you can um, if you got any questions let me know but one thing I do want to mention again half a size down I was trying to get that information for my life from a lot of people. Everybody said true to size. Some people said half size down. I have wide feet, and I still want half a size down. So that should say something that's self-ready. So I would go half a size down if you can still get a pair. Um, one thing to keep an eye out for, if you are a gold member on East Bay, they do restock on a blue moon once in a while, and they'll send an email out. I, I got an email earlier this week for the Bordeaux. They did a restock on those. So if you're a gold member, they will shoot you an email. Just make sure your email is updated on their system. These will probably show up on, on a restock as well, and then you'll get an email. So when you do pick those up, half a size down. Nike.com, as we all know, they usually have a restock, so you just got to keep an eye out on it and, and then stay on the forums. But other than that, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. Rate, comment, subscribe. Here it is, the 2011 Jorn True Blue 3s. Peace.